Welcome to Oakdale Bible Baptist Church. My name is Brother Eldon Mayo. I am the pastor. We will continue our study on mustard seed faith. In the first segment, we simply introduced the concept. We looked at this rebuke that Jesus gave to his disciples. Uh, and I read it to you in Matthew in chapter, uh, chapter number 17 and verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. He was speaking about why they could not cast uh, this devil or this demon out of this young man. He said, because of your unbelief. We said after the rebuke, he also gave them this by way of instruction. Uh, it says, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. And so we said, this is the instruction that we should have faith as a grain of mustard seed. And again, we're not speaking to the amount or the quantity of faith. He did not say as little faith or as much faith as a grain of mustard seed, but rather the, quanti the quality sorry, of faith. For he said faith as a grain of mustard seed. So in this, the second segment, we'll begin to look at the attributes of the faith that a mustard seed has. This is the kind or character of faith that we should have. Uh, in this segment, we'll look at activity. It is an active faith. A mustard seed has active faith. By this, first off, I mean that the seed does not remain a seed. It grows. Uh, I have planted many gardens, and at the end of, of, of the season, at harvest time, if all I could do is go back and dig up the seeds I planted, I would consider the garden a failure. Uh, seeds are planted in hope of growth. Uh, and our faith is a faith which grows. Uh, now, I realize that a faith does not, I'm sorry, that a seed does not grow into the finished plant in a day. Growth is a process, and it's a continual process. Uh, and so that when Peter, for example, uh, in the book of 1 Peter, uh, in chapter 2, in the second verse, said, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Uh, he was expecting that we should, in the Word of God, uh, build upon where we were yesterday, today, and tomorrow build upon where we are today. In other words, uh, he was encouraging a process, uh, but in order to grow, we must, uh, we must build our faith, and faith uh, comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. This is where we grow it, it's right here in the Word. As a matter of fact, in 2 Peter, uh, at the very last verse of the last chapter, it's chapter 3, verse 18, Peter left us with this instruction, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. We grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. You know, the day I was saved, there were so many things I didn't know about Jesus. I grew up in church. I thought I knew all these things. I knew nothing. Uh, and I still find that I know so little compared to what I would like to know. Like the old song said, I want to know more about my Lord. Grow. Active faith grows. We grow in knowledge. Uh, we grow in knowledge of how the Lord would have us to live, how He would have us to walk, how He would have us to talk. We grow in that knowledge. Uh, the second thing I would tell you, not only does a seed grow, uh, but a mustard seed does not stop at a, at a comfortable height, but rather it continues. So our growth, first off, is real. Second, it is continual. The mustard tree, which Jesus was uh, almost certainly speaking of here, uh, grows to a height of about 20 feet, in some areas 30 feet. It's an interesting thing. All the mustard trees do not, and, and, and it is a mustard tree, there's a mustard uh, plant such as we're used to here in the south, and there's a mustard tree. Uh, this mustard tree, they, they don't all grow at the same rate. That's interesting. Uh, but they do all continue to grow until they get to about the same height. In other words, there's a, uh, there's a curve, there's an expected, uh, there's expected growth pattern for the mustard tree. And they may grow a little differently in rates. One may struggle more than another, but still yet it, there's an expected ending for this. There's a, an expected point to which they get. And I tell you that you and I as Christians, though we may have different times in our life and we may grow a little differently in rates, still yet our God has an expectation for us and He has an expected maturity point. Uh, and, and it's not for us 
uh, to simply grow a little way and stop and say, well, that's it for me. I just won't grow as far as the others. But rather, if we have faith as a grain of mustard seed, we will continue to grow uh, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, there's one last thing I'll cover. I'm not trying to go in, in great depth on this. Just trying to look at the attributes of our faith. It's, and this being an active faith. Growth doesn't stop when changes occur. I planted a fig tree in my yard just a, a few weeks ago. And not long after it, it began to bloom out, uh, it began to grow another branch off to the side. And you know, the fact that that tree had to change to grow a branch did not stop the tree. It just continued to grow. The branch this way and the trunk of the tree uh, continued to grow on straight. And a mustard tree is much the same way. It comes to a point and it has to grow a branch. Perhaps it's never grown a branch before. Maybe this branch is going a different way from another branch. And it's that way with you and I. Maybe you've studied and studied on, on how that you should, uh, how your attitude should be. And that's good, and that's wonderful, but now maybe it's time for another branch in your life. Uh, maybe you've now become a parent, uh, and so the Lord begins teaching you about how to raise a child. Uh, maybe as you've grown on past some of the basics in your life, the Lord begins showing you some things in here uh, about His character, or maybe uh, things uh, about the character of the church. Uh, perhaps he's called you into a different duty in the church and there's more growth that's expected of you. It's not all going to be the same. But if our growth is real growth, it will cover all aspects of our life. You see, a tree when it grows and grows branches doesn't grow them all to one side normally. But rather they'll grow here and they'll grow there. And maybe there won't be one branch for every single degree of the circle. But by the time it's over, when these branches grow out, and branches from other branches, and the leaves from there, the whole of the tree, 360 degrees, will be covered. And real growth, active growth, will cover all of your life, and every aspect of your life. Mustard seed faith will be an active faith, which will cause growth, which will continue growth, and which will complete growth. All of this will happen in your life if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Now this will complete our second segment. I realize it's short, but I hope it gives you something to uh, chew on or ruminate on to think on until we come to our next segment.